going on gas gang today we are back with an epic freeway bmw lineup we've got two tuned m cars versus a crazy m light this one's gonna be sick you do not want to miss it let's get it welcome to officially gas So welcome back once again to the OG Battles and today it's another special freeway showdown. We've managed to get one of only two ECU tuned new BMW M3 competitions in the world. We've also managed to get the actual world's fastest BMW M2 on the quarter mile and also a radically modified BMW M140i. This is going to be pure madness. And in partnership with Race Logic, and as usual we're going to be running four different tests. First up is the 0 to 60, next up is a quarter mile run, after that it's a drag race to the quarter mile and finally we line all cars up for the quarter mile roll race. Let's get over and meet all of the cars and their owners. So first up today, introducing Marky and his pure turbo powered 650 brake horsepower, 880 newton meter BMW M140i. Modifications include a pure 800 turbo, a port methanol injection system, an MMR charge pipe, a 4.5 inch downpipe, a Wavetrack LSD and a custom map from WG Motorworks. The M140i is running on R888 R semi slick tyres and weighs in at around 1475 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of around 440 brake horsepower per tonne. It drives its rear wheels via its 8 speed traditional auto map ZF gearbox. And he's going to be stepping up against Mabs from NV Motorsport and his MVM tuned Stage 3 BMW M2 running 590 brake horsepower and 785 newton meters of torque. This car currently holds the fastest quarter mile in the world for a BMW M2 at 10.9 seconds. But can it perform today? Modifications include a big boost Stage 3.3 6159 turbo, a Supra high pressure fuel pump, BMS intakes, a CSF intercooler, a Scorpion exhaust system and methanol injection system. It also runs an MVM custom gearbox tune and MVM custom ECU software. The BMW M2 is running on semi-slick Mickey Thompson tyres and actually has been weighed by MVM Motorsport at 1665 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 354 brake horsepower per tonne and drives the rear wheels via its dual clutch 7 speed transmission. <laughs> And last but not least, they're both going to be stepping up against me in another one of NV Motorsports cars. They've let me loose in their MVM tuned 580 brake horsepower, 789 newton meter development BMW M3 competition. Engine modifications only comprise of a Stage 1 MVM ECU tune, a Scorpion axle back exhaust system and an MVM intake. The M3 is running on factory tyres and weighs in at a whopping 1780 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 325 brake horsepower per tonne. And once again, it only drives its rear wheels via its traditional auto ZF8 speed transmission. Right, bro, so what is your predictions for the day? Zero to 60, quarter mile on a drag race. I'm, I'm hoping to win the roll, the rolling drag race, and um, the, the zero to 60 is not looking too good at the minute. I mean, some rolling burnout down there, but you know, I'm hopeful. And uh, yeah, we'll see. So, what is your predictions for the day? Uh, obviously, quarter mile, zero to 60, uh, rolling race and drag race. To be fair, obviously, that's a B58 over there, isn't it? So, it's a superior engine, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'm doing this for the M55 guys. On, on a prep track, it does a 10 second quarter mile. 100 to 200 is kind of six seconds. So, it'd be interesting to see what it does on this sort of surface. Obviously, you ain't got the broom out today. So it's a bit it's a bit choppy and slidey out there, but uh, we'll do what we can and let's see what it does. Right guys, as you see, I am piloting the M3, the G Series M3 with the S58 engine. Shout out to MVM. They have let me loose in this car. It's not my car. I've never really driven it before today. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. I, I think zero to 60, I might win. That I might be the strongest because I know these get off the line. Um, quarter mile, I think I'm going to lose. Rolling race, I think I'm going to lose. Um, quarter mile time I think I'm gonna lose so pretty much I'm gonna lose but anyway I'm in it for the fun of it and we're gonna have a good race so shout out to the other lads but I'm in it to win it not to lose I 
nothing. Let's go. First up is to zero to 60s. and the BMW M140i fights for grip but still manages a time of 4.29 seconds. I'm not competitive, but I'm doing this for the N55 world, although I prefer a B58 anyway, so. M2 manages an epic time of 3.52 seconds to 60. All right, guys, this is not my car. I've probably said that a million times, but anyway, what a pleasure. Shout out to MVM. Um, this ain't going into launch control for some reason, so I'm just gonna brake boost it, so it could affect our times. Oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> Full send. Good traction. Spinning. Strong. Strong. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Woo. And that's a strong time of 3.74 seconds from the M3 without it even going into launch control. So taking a look at the OG Battle's rear-wheel drive 0-60 leaderboard, you can see the M2 drops into 4th position with a time of 3.52 seconds, the BMW M3 goes into 5th position with a time of 3.74 seconds, and the BMW M140i drops into 8th position with his time of 4.29 seconds. And round 1 goes to Mabs and his MVM tuned BMW M2. Improvising bro! I'm improvising! <laughs> I I decided I won't move it. Yeah. too sick, I love this car. Next up is the quarter mile tests. Once again, the M140i fights for traction all the way but still manages a strong time of 11.95 seconds. Let's go. Sure. <laughs> Slight issue, the BMW M2 manages a great time of 11.38 seconds. I love this car. So consistent. All right, guys, all these boys with their semi slicks and Mickey Thompsons. We're just running street tires, not even my car. And I'm still going to win, hopefully. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm probably going to win. Anyway, full confidence and full send brake boost because launch controls not working. Let's get it. Let's go. Nice. Come on. Look at the traction. Nice! Nice! Okay! 
don't know if it's enough to win. Be strong from the rear wheel drive car on a stage one. Okay, okay. And the BMW M3 puts the power down pretty well and manages a strong time of 11.73 seconds. So taking a look at the rear wheel drive quarter mile leaderboard, the M2 drops into fourth position with a time of 11.38 seconds at a speed of 129 miles per hour. The BMW M3 goes into fifth position with a time of 11.73 seconds and a trap speed of 126 miles per hour. And the BMW M140i drops into seventh position with a time of 11.95 seconds at a trap speed of 127 miles per hour. And once again, round two goes to the BMW M2. Next up is the drag race. As Jamie would say, let's get it. He's still setting up his 10 cameras. Shut up, you. All right, let's do this. It's on, it's on lads. Brake boost. Ah, spinning, spinning. Stop showing off. <laughs> Jamie, I thought you were in the superior engine vehicle. It's tuned by MVM, so anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my goal's just kicked in. And the M2 hits the finish line first, handing us out two bus length gaparonis. The M140i finishes in second place and I come last in the M3. And again, round three goes to the BMW M2. Next up is the roll races. And this is where things could change. This should be interesting. Cool, aim for about 50 mile an hour, but you're the pace car. So we're just gonna stay with you, yeah? Okay, yeah. Yeah, cause you're on the left. So come back, follow me how far back I go. Nice. I think I know why I just said that. <laughs> Jamie's so organized. So the idea of this one is for the M2 to be the pace car and lead the cars to around 50 miles an hour. Pick your best gear and as soon as they hit the start marker, is go to. Shall I give Jamie a head start in my car? All right guys, so this is where I hopefully pull one, well, I don't know if I'm gonna pull one back. I don't know why I'm giving it bigger. I was just spinning so much from the beginning. So we are gonna go, yep. All right, let's go. I'm gonna lock this in manual. Okay, second gear. We're gonna go for about 50. That's where that car comes into its own. 
the M2, that's just, wow, they're both fast cars, but yeah, I lost again. <laughs> and that's where the B58 is worth its money. And the M140 shows its power and weight advantage and absolutely smokes the competition, giving that M2 a taste of its own medicine. Oh, and once again, I come last. Let's go again, bro, come on. A bit faster this time, so I'm in turbo boost mode. All right, so we're going again. Mabs was uh, making race car excuses. So uh, yeah, he's the pace man. So uh, let's go, brother. All right, he wants to go faster this time. but there's no denying how quick that 140 is. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Yeah, that, that was epic. That was epic. It was a little bit closer, but that M140 is undeniably quick, man. Wow. See, that was a bit closer, wasn't it? That was better, bro. That was better. This BM was flying, bro. Driver mod. And that rapid M140i shows both of us who's boss once again by handing out two Gaparonis. The M2 comes in at second place once again, but only just beats me by about a car length. And round four goes to the BMW M140i. Quick, 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 quick. quick. All right, so I'll start this one off. Um, it's not my car, so I don't take any responsibility <laughs> for what happened. I was trying to recap on what happened. I don't think I won anything. I think maybe at best second place, maybe? Yeah, possibly. But what I've got to say is on the roll, I was very surprised how that new M3 actually gets the power down with such a mild kind of state of tune, if that yeah, makes sense. definitely. It's still development. So it's that stage one base kind of map, 580 brake horsepower, yeah. 780 new mirrors, and it, it does well. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's a lovely place to be, I'll give you that. Yeah. But look, a massive shout out to MVM because he brought two yeah, rapid cars down, uh, zero to 60 and quarter mile, you smashed it. Yeah, I mean, the surface wasn't the best. As mm -hmm. you know, the car's a 10 second car at Santa Pod on the prep surface, but yeah, we can't complain. Everyone was on the same field. Yeah, 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 yeah. And shout out to 100%. Mark. Seriously, I mean, he was skidding in fourth gear. Yeah, exactly. The guy driving. drove the hell out of the car. And also, we learned how fast that was it on the roll. True. It's true. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the way he took off, I mean, like, yeah. you saw, because he, he served us some gaparoni pizzas. <laughs> And I didn't like the taste of them, but as I say, not my car, so I didn't complain. But massive shout out. I think the varying results really did kind of, there was, you couldn't call it. There was no rhyme or reason no, to what happened yeah. today. Basically. I mean, obviously the N55 is older, the B58 is newer, it's got more potential of a stop block than the N55, but the repet repetitive nature of the M2 is down to yeah, yeah. You know, how it's been set up. But yeah, hats off to him, it's a yeah, great yeah. car. Well, what I will say is, brother, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Legend, Thanks for bro. having us, bro. No, pleasure, pleasure. And once again, if you have enjoyed today's races, make sure to smash that subscribe button and stay tuned for another epic OG battle. Peace out. <laughs>